<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. We are back with issue 27 of the Hachette Partworks release of Titanic, the ship, the legend. So, what's in today's magazine? Help arrives from the Carpathia. Uh, Harold Thomas Cottom, the wireless operator, got the distress call. Uh, Carpathia of, of course, the Cunard line. And uh, there we go, just more stories about the, the Carpathia. Four-legged friends, obviously some of the first-class passengers, had uh, their dogs with them. And uh, if you remember the scene from the Titanic movie where the first class dogs were taken down to the poop deck um, to do their business, <laughs> which uh, also happened to be a third class area. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, John Jacob Astor, one of the richest men on the ship, and that's him with his dog. Um, he went and freed all the, the dogs from the kennels uh, upon realising he wasn't going to make it off. So, yeah. Some precious jewels that were aboard the Titanic, some of which were, were never recovered, of course. Uh, and again, apparently, uh, yeah, there was a cat on board. Who knew? Um, Jenny, her name was. Uh, Rose Scented Soaps, which was mentioned in the movie, I believe it was A Night to Remember. Uh, Charles Lightoller is on a train with his wife, reading the advert for... Uh, yeah, rose scented soaps. First class only, because the rest don't wash. <laughs> um, yep, and then that's us on to our parts for the second engine. So this won't take us very long, I don't think. But let's have a look at what's in the magazine anyway. In the magazine? In the box, anyway. <laughs> okay, so smaller box than in issue 26. But then that's hardly surprising since issue 26 was gargantuan. In the box, we have the connecting rods, um, other assorted engine pieces. We have some BM screws. We have the cylinder heads. And of course, again, very nicely painted, we have half of the engine block, which to me is just silliness, but hey -o. I would have thought it would have made sense the way they did in issue 3 and given us the full engine together, but I suppose they expect you by this stage to be getting it as a monthly pack rather than doing them individually, which I think at this point most people are, in fairness. So the first thing we need are these little ladder pieces, will they call them? Yeah. The connecting shafts and the valve rods. Okay, <laughs> that's what they're called. So let's get these out the packet. There we have. Now again, vitally important you put these pieces on the wrong way. Because when I, uh, on the wrong way? On the right way. Because uh, I did it wrong when I built the first ones and I had to go back and fix it. It wasn't the easiest, I must be honest. Now these are fairly universally sized and shaped. But what you do is take this section, the square clip goes on the end here with that open hook facing towards the outside and then the smaller sort of crescent moon clips onto the middle like so and now I get to do that three more times so bear with me a moment, and I'll be back. Okay, so as you can see, that's those four done like that. And the next thing we're doing 
is getting these, which are the short connectors, and we're taking the end with the smaller grip. If you can see, I'll pick it up in the tweezers to show you. You can see one side has a larger grip than the other. We're taking the side with the small grip and it's connecting on to the other end of this rod assembly with the clip facing the same direction as that. So it should look like this. Now again, I don't really think it's worth the time it takes for me to pause the video and go back into it. And that one's a lot looser than that one was. Hmm. Interesting. Again, these should move fairly freely. And the reason for that being that when the engine turns, these will move. Let's see, I already have one fully assembled engine that I've already had to go back and fix. And I will come back to that just momentarily uh, at the end of the video. Okay, so that's them all done. And the next thing we need are the cylinders. They are labelled 27 A, B, C and D. However, on the parts themselves, they're labelled L, 8, 7, 6 and 5. And what we have to do is lie them in that order. That's 5 goes there, 6 goes there, 7 goes there, and 8 goes here. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is get my BM screws out ready, because uh, they are just itching to be used. There are 5 of them. Of course we only need 4. Always a spare with hachette, as I say. Very good. Just as well, because I dropped one last time. And it went flying. And I couldn't find it. Okie dokie. So. Now. All we're doing. Is. As I say. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Taking the cylinders. And lying them on like so in that order. So this is the first one. Now again, you want to make sure these go on straight. You want to make sure they go on flush. And you want to make sure they're tightened up properly. That one isn't particularly tight. Because if it's not, there we go, perfect. You're going to have problems when it comes to putting the pistons and the rods in. Trust me. <laughs> so I'll go and put the rest of these three on, and I'll be back to you in just a moment. Okay, so I'll bring you back for the final one, just to show you. Uh, I did forget to mention, and I forgot to actually do it with the first one. But what I find makes it work a lot better is to actually thread the screw in first because you can see these are very very tight you have having to back them out put the screw back in to get them to tighten down enough and that's very very difficult with the plastic piece on because essentially they've painted this after the holes were drilled it's made it incredibly difficult so Put the screw in, tighten it down, pull it back off, put your plastic piece on, line it up, make sure the screw is on the screwdriver properly, and then basically all you're doing is tightening it into the, the threads that you cut just a moment ago. And that makes it infinitely easier. You can see none of these wobble, and that's what you're after. And that is us, if you believe it, for issue 27. We have half an engine block. Yeah, so I think we'll need these parts for issue 28, what do you think? <laughs> okay, so that was issue 27. What do we have coming in issue 28? Well, the other half of the engine, you'll be surprised to see. Um, yep, again, I'll get that done in fairly quick time. 
um, just purely to, to try and get back on schedule as much as possible. So yeah, that's what we made this time and obviously the connecting rods. What I mentioned earlier on is, now here is what we did in issue 36. Now when I lined in, I know a lot of other people, I'll move my camera down a sec, I know a lot of other people had the same problem when they were trying to line the existing engine up with this thrust block, the green pulley was hitting off of here. Now, in issue three, I think it is, when you actually build this engine, there's a bracket that goes in here, and it act, you can just about see it under there, and it actually tells you to put it in the wrong way. There is a slightly beveled slot to accommodate the end of the pulley, and they actually tell you to put it in backwards. So I had to take the bottom off, it's only those screws at the bottom, and then turn it the other way around, and that'll fix it for you. So, and I think it actually fits quite nice and neatly now. Yep, there we go. That's what your your engine looks like. Good, eh? I mean, that's, that's just the start. There's loads more that goes in here, lots of pipe work, the motors and everything all sitting. So yeah, quite impressed. Looking forward to getting the engine bay finished, eh, as I say. I should get the next four issues very, very soon, and that will finish off the, the engine room. Um, getting ahead of myself, because we're only on issue 27, but <laughs> we'll be doing issue 28 just shortly, and hopefully I'll be able to get the engine all up to speed. Again, thanks for watching. Any comments, criticism, complaints? Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, put them down in the comment section below. Please leave me a like if you like what I'm doing and consider subscribing to the channel as well because it lets YouTube and myself know that I'm doing a good job and that you're enjoying. But again, thanks and as always, peace out everyone.